What is going on everybody? How are we all doing and welcome back today to another installment of the Rotation Road to Glory and today is going to see the start of a new format for this series. This is now going to become a series that you see once a week. The reason being basically you guys seem to be loving the career mode stuff and reviews a lot more than this. It's not to say that the support on this has been bad but I think it also work a lot better as a, as a series like the, for the format if you do see it once a week and you can see the week's work condensed into one video. I just think a combination of everything means that this is going to be the best way to go. So what I'm going to do for each week, there's going to be some parts that are live, comes most likely going to be the pack openings where we get like our rewards, and then the, the rest of it is going to be me post coming it like seen now, and we'll be talking about a certain subject, whether that be FIFA related, football related. So if you've got any suggestions for for subjects, let me know in the comment section down below. But what we're going to be dis discussing today is the idea, of, well. Not the idea, how much I should say is FIFA this year, FIFA 18, a pay to win game. Something that's been discussed quite a lot on Twitter I've seen and I thought I'd, I'd give my thoughts on that in today's video. But before I start talking about that, I want to qu quickly even uh, brief you on what you're going to be seeing in the background. So you're going to be seeing uh, Elite One Squad Battles rewards, you're going to be seeing uh, Foot Champions Silver rewards from last week where we went uh, 11, 11 wins and 3 losses which I was very very happy with. You're going to be seeing some daily knockout footage, you're going to be seeing us doing the guaranteed screen player SPC. You're going to be seeing us unlocking some prong or players packs from certain SPCs in the in the um, the league ones, so like the um, the Liga Nos one. I think there's, I think in fact, I think they're both from the Liga Nos, or they might even only be one in today's video. And you're also going to see is completing potentially the marquee matchups, which I haven't actually done yet. But if they are doable when they come out tonight, as you see this, they'll be part of this video as well. So that's what you're going to be seeing. But like I've already mentioned, today's main subject is going to be. I'll also say, if you do enjoy this format, leave a big thumbs up and let me know uh, in the comment section and comment section down below how I can improve it. Subjects something to talk about in the future. If you preferred it how it was before and. All all that kind of stuff but this basically does also mean I should mention that you are going to be seeing a new series start later this weekend probably hopefully this weekend a series that a lot of you guys have been asking for and uh, yeah I cannot wait to get started on that so that's a little clue some of you guys will know what I mean when you say that you've been asking for let's say the return of this series so that's going to be coming this weekend and uh, like I said having this once a week with this format will allow that to happen but now we're going to be talking about the subject that I mentioned earlier and that is how much of FIFA 18 this year is pay to win and does spending tons and tons of money on the game mean that you're guaranteed to win? How much of a difference does it make? This is a subject that, like I've seen a lot on Twitter this week, it's a subject that's very, you know, FIFA, the FIFA fan base are very passionate about that as a fly flies past me. I don't know if you could see that. In fact, he's a monster. That flies a monster, he's on my wall. He's, he's not that big, really. But anyway. Pay to win as a concept, if you're if you're unaware, is literally it's exactly what it says, really. It's spend is spending money on the game make you a better player? Does it give you a better chance of winning? Now, I'm going to start off by saying obviously yes. Yes, the more you spend on FIFA, the better chance you've got of winning. But I don't think it's to the extent of what people think it is right now because I think you can earn more coins this year and get better teams this year on FIFA without spending money than you've been able to do on any FIFA in the past. Now, obviously, if you're playing hundreds and hundreds or thousands of pounds into this game, opening packs, you're likely going to raise yourselves a lot of coins. You can, you're going to be able to buy teams the likes of, like, I mean, if we take it to the extreme, people like Ronaldo, people like Messi, Icon Ronaldo, you know, polite players like that, that... I think if you're doing a road to glory or not spending money on the game, they're players that are obviously, unless you get very lucky, going to be very difficult to, ob to obtain. Now, when you're using those players in-game, they are going to make a big difference. But I still firmly, firmly believe that even if you're someone that's got like a, a 50k sweaty OP team playing against a 1 million pound coins, a 1 million coin squad, sorry, I still think if you're the better player, you are still able to win those kind of games. I don't think it's like if someone's got Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, you know, I don't think it's a guaranteed win. There's still a, there's still a skill there to the game. I know some people say this year there's not as much of a skill, but I disagree. I think if you're amazing on the game and you're playing against someone with a better team than you, but you're way better than them, then, you know, you've still got a great chance of winning that game. Now, I think if it comes down to a fact that you're playing someone that it's a really close game, the skill gap is very minimal, you're playing against someone that's, you know, very similar to yourself, I think then potentially if they've got a much better team than you, then it can make the difference because with FIFA, as in football in real life, football is a game of fine margins. So maybe someone having, having a Ronaldo, say like in a game, there's... You know, it's a really close game. You both have two one-on-one -on -one chances, but one guy has that one-on-one -on -one chance with, like, an Oikon Ronaldo or a Cristiano Ronaldo or a Messi, and then the other guy has it with, like, a Musa, someone like that. 
Although that Musa card is very, very OP and strong in the game, you know, you, you're going to back yourself to score that chance with like an Icon Ronaldo more often than not, obviously, aren't you? So in those kind of games, maybe it will make a difference. Maybe it will, you know, it will edge that person. You know, it'll, it, it'll give them the win, basically, in a game where perhaps if they hadn't spent all the money on the game and had an average team like yourself, maybe you'd have got the win. And some people might say maybe you're someone that's a better player than the other person, but because they've managed to spend a lot of money on the game and they've got a better team than you, that elevates them to your level. As you've seen, by the way, our best pack of the week, I would reckon, in the background. We got this from one of the Halloween SBCs. We got Raphael Varane and Sane in the same pack, which is absolutely amazing. But um, getting back on the subject, yeah, I think, for the most part, I think that pay-to-win is there. But it's not a super big thing. Like I say, I think it mainly makes it makes a difference when you're in the close, tight games and maybe someone's got like a much better player than you in a certain position. But going back to where I was started talking about this, I do think that this FIFA is the best ever FIFA when it comes to being able to earn coins. Now, this year, you've got to bear in mind, you've got squad battles, which if you're a competent player, like, I am not amazing on FIFA. I am a... Like, if it comes to foot champs, I'm, t I'm, you know, gold three, gold two, gold one at the very, very best. I'm not an elite player, yet I'm able to get elite one squad battles every single week, which is 40,000 coins and two mega packs. That is a big deal. If you combine that with the coins that you're getting from just from playing matches, if you do a bit of trading on the side, like, a, you know, if you get lucky in a pack, if you're doing foot champions as well, you could reasonably be looking at making easily, easily 60,000 coins a week at minimum, at minimum, at minimum, at minimum at, pff, if I could get my words out, at minimum, in my opinion. If you get a bit of luck, you could easily get like over 100k. Look at ourselves last week on the road to glory. We got 40,000 coins from, from uh, squad battles. We then got... Um, 30,000 coins? No, let's say 20,000 coins, just to be safe. I can't remember what it was. I think it was 15 or 20,000 coins from Foot Champions. Forget yourself, one. I can't remember what it was now. I think it could have been 15k. So let's say 15k. That's 55k just from coin rewards. You've then got to look at all the coins that you've earned from the daily objectives, from playing matches. Just like, Let's just call that 5,000 coins. And that's like a very, very low estimate. So that's 60,000 coins. Then you've got all the players that we packed last week. We got really lucky. You've got Hammers Rodriguez. That was another 60,000 coins. That's 110k right there for something that I think most people can achieve. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Maybe Elite One's not super easy on squad battles, but I think that's something that a lot of people are able to get, particularly, you know, if you're watching my channel, if you like your FIFA, you're someone that takes it, you know, relatively seriously, you know, I think that is something that's very, very achievable easily, like 60,000 coins a week. And I'm not really doing any foot champions whatsoever either. So, you know, you know, if you throw someone that's doing foot champions in the mix as well and getting like a gold three, that's another 40k and some better packs as well. So, I think, you know, this year, although people might say you can pay to win, we also get a, a draft token at some point in one of these packs. I don't know if I've just, if I've just that could be a massive spoiler alert. Actually, I think that might be the um, the squad battles packs at the end. But uh, anyway, carrying on. Like, um, when you consider, like, yeah, maybe pay to win, maybe pay to win, maybe you can spend, like, a million coins on a team and, you know, that will give you an advantage. But I firmly believe that because of how easy it is to earn coins this year, you don't have to spend money on the game to get an amazing team. I mean, when you look at the squad we've been able to put together on this account, when you consider we've spent no money on the game, we've got, like, one to watch Yarmolenko, we've got Hamas Rodriguez, we've got one to watch Talisa, who I'm praying, by the way, praying gets an inform tomorrow. We paid 79k for him. He's currently going for like 160, 170k, but I really wanted to get the inform just to use him. But um, but yeah, getting back on track, I just think it's so... I don't want to use the word easy, but if you put time into the game, if you're wanting to grind the game, you can very uh, easily earn coins and put together a super, super team without having to spend money on the game. I think that's easier than it has ever, ever been on FIFA as far as I'm concerned. I can't think, I mean, last year was a massive step in that direction when you consider you had uh, foot champions, where was, which was a way to earn massive, massive amount of coins and packs without having to spend money in the game. And this year, they've just made a more accessible version of foot champs as well as having foot champs as well. That, that's how I think it is this year. So, do I think the game's pay to win? Yes, but I don't think it's as extreme as some people say it is. And I do honestly think that you are able to build a team that's just as good because of the amount of coins you can earn from squad battles and foot champions. So um, although it is pay to win at the very tippity tippity top, where you're perhaps looking at fine margins, for 95% of games, I don't think it makes a blind bit of difference because I think you can do so well just by grinding out the game and building a very solid team anyway. So uh, that's my thoughts on whether this game is pay to win. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments section down below, whether you think, you know, maybe you think it's a lot more difficult to get a great team than I think it is. Maybe you think, you know, having a lot of money pumped into the game makes a big difference. Let me know as my camera turns off that. 
let me just flip that back on quickly. Um, yeah, love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And also, let me know what subject you want me to cover next on, whether that be FIFA related or football related as well. This is going to end the uh, the post combat. You're about to see some packs from the squad battles, squad battles rewards, which are live comps. So enjoy that section of the video. And uh, yeah. Let's uh, transition over to that now, shall we? So, guys, we did manage to complete the marquee matchup. So, you're going to be seeing this now before the squad battles rewards at the end of the video. I'm not going to put any green screen on this. I know you can probably see it like over here, but I'm not going to put that up. It's just going to be quite quick so we can open up these packs. But we managed to, um, I mean, I was trying to prepare for the marquee matchup. So, again, we got quite lucky. A lot of these are first owner players or players that we bought in in preparation. So, this hasn't cost us a lot. I think the whole section has cost us about 15k to make probably less than that, maybe 12k, including the investments we made so let's unlock all of these packs and open them up i think the most expensive one ended up being severe laganes because we had to get through two severe players which cost us something like 3k so you know that that's a sign of how well we've done here basically but you can see again these are the teams that we put together i've not really even looked properly what the rewards are i saw that one just as a rare gold pack which isn't too bad panathinaikos olympiakos is one i'm quite glad i prepared for you can see we've just got the the, the greek league players and then built a bundesliga around them for the strong links and the chemistry and then the final one what did we get for that one electrum players pack the last one man united versus spurs another one that we prepared for you can see we've got half man united one matters untradeable well, not something that I'm planning on him using again. I wasn't that much of a fan of him. So we traded him in and we got Demis and Sanchez, who is actually okay, but he's worth trading in for this. So um, they're the ones who've traded in. You've seen there the teams we get for overall. What do we get? So we've seen here marquee matchups are being completed. We get a prime god players pack. That is not too bad. There's some potential there. We've got the scream cards delayed, of course, as well as the team of the week. But let's open these up, see what we can get. I'm expecting with the packs that we've got here, you think we're going to get at least... Oh, I want to say at least two boards, at least two players above 83 rated, but you can see we also get red consumables. A, a pack this is that is often overlooked, so like, I appreciate getting the squad fitnesses and conversions, stuff like that. Shame we couldn't get a god of got. Shame we couldn't have got, sorry. A few more squad fitnesses there, but I think we'll do the Electrum players back first because there's only one rare here. But yeah, if we can get two players 83 plus, I'd be quite happy with that. We don't get a rare gold player in this one, which absolutely sucks. Let's just skip that because it's not going to be any one of note. Who's it going to be? Who's the rare? Please be a silver at least. Yeah, it is. It's Lombard. So we get a few non-rares here, of course. This guy, I'm guessing there's no... Are these going to be worth anything? I'll have a look at these properly after, but I don't think there's anything there that's going to be particularly worthwhile. And then we've got still the rare gold pack, a prong gold players pack, a jumbo premium gold. So we'll do the rare gold pack first. Technically, this has got the most rares in it, but we've got some player packs there. Come on, give us a board. It's not a board that is disappointing. That's the kind of pack that I thought we could get a board from. What's it going to be? A Brazilian cam? It's going to be uh, Bernard. Someone that we've packed a few times actually on this series already. Not one that we're uh, welcoming either. He's not a great pull. We also get Thomas Partey. Uh, Haps, Martinez. We get a couple of squad fitnesses. So that wasn't the greatest pack. That's got to be said. Uh, we've now got the Prime Gold players in the Jumbo Premium Gold. We'll do this one first. The Jumbo Premium Gold. Seven rares. Come on, we've got to get at least one board here, surely. No board again, that's worrying. We've got to get within the bloody prong or players pack, surely. This time it's going to be an English left pack. Danny Rose, that is not a bad pull. We've already got him untradeable, but I think he normally goes for about 6 7k. And you need Tottenham players right now, which I don't think is going to affect him too much. But at the end of the day, that is um, that is not a bad pull. You know, 6 or 7k, I will take that hands down. We also get a few coins. Let's just quickly check out which Danny Rose does actually go for, I'm sure. He's over 5k. 12k there. 8k bid. Wow, okay. Okay, that is a tasty, tasty pull. We'll take that. We'll send him to the trade pile. But that is a solid pull. That is, I'm happy with that. Still no board, though. We've got to at least get a board. At least one board, haven't we? Surely. Pro and players back to end it off before you see the squad battles rewards. Come on. Give us an inform. Give us a scream card. It's got to be a board. Wow. Not a single board in any of those. That is really, really harsh. Is it going to be color off? Matic? Oh, Matic would be a board, wouldn't he, of course. 82 rated fetch there in the Prime Gold players back. That is really disappointing that we didn't get a single board through any of those, though. We also get Parolo. We get Sidebe. Tonelli. That's pretty poor as far as the Prime Gold players pack is concerned, in my opinion. But Danny Rose is a good pull. I'm not going to complain about that. We'll get a, a good chunk of coins for him, thankfully. So that's going to pay for everything we've just done there. I mean, I've got a load of other stuff as well. But um, 
yeah, quite disappointing. Let's move on to the squad battles rewards. So this is the team that I've been using for this week, guys. I haven't done any foot champions. I did qualify, as you've seen, but I didn't decide to do any. I just didn't have a chance. But um, we're still sticking with the Bundesliga theme. I've got a new team in mind that I want to build up to. But for now, still sticking with Bundesliga. I've made a few changes to the team. As you can see, we've got Hammers Rodriguez at Cam, a guy that we packed last week, of course. Been sticking him in the team instead of Muller. He's been absolutely excellent. Uh, we upgraded our normal Gretzka to Inform Gretzka. I think you saw that at the end of the last episode as well. We've also changed one of our centre-backs, which will get Inform Ginter and replaced him with so that we got for 19k which wasn't too bad but still for the main the same kind of team I do want to work towards uh, it's going to take a bit of time I think but I'd like to get a team where we've got Kevin De Bruyne, Jesus and Nine Goal and all sorts of linking together in some sort of team but that is something I want to work towards it's going to take quite some time but for now I'm still absolutely loving the uh, the Bundesliga team the Bundesliga team still the best team I've used this year by Country Mile we actually also invested or I say invested, I don't know whether I'm going to use him or sell him in uh, the Scream Lars Bender. Now we've got him for 26 half, yeah, 26, 750 it was. So um, I don't think that's too bad. I don't know what he's currently going for. I picked him up a glass night, as you're saying this, I think it was. Um, you can see bids of 26k now. I, d I, I don't know it, like how much they're going to go up to or if when the, uh, the upgrades come out they're going to plummet because everyone's going to sell. But if he reached 40k, I'd probably sell him. If not... I'll probably use him for this weekend when they've got the boosts. But um, the main part of this video now is, of course, the rewards. Hopefully, now I don't actually know yet, but hopefully we've still got Elite 1 because uh, I left last night on about 79,000 points. It should be enough, but it wouldn't be a shock if we had been relegated to Elite 2. No, we still are Elite 1. That's absolutely fantastic. I think we're about 5,000, 6,000 points clear, so I wasn't too sure if we were still going to get it. But um, we get 40k, which is absolutely fantastic, and the two mega packs. Now, last time... The, uh, oh, Castro got, gets his own um, challenge this week. That's, that's pretty cool. But um, let's see what team he's got. Uh, yeah, last week we got Hammers Rodriguez in what was a fantastic, fantastic rewards. And um, all the ones before that have been abysmal. But um, he's got Chicharito. He's got uh, R9, Ronaldinho, Info Messi. It's, it's an incredible, incredible team, isn't it? What a team that is. But... Um, yeah, last week the rewards were exceptional. I always say this, if you get a board player at the two, I'll be happy. But if you can get someone like Camus Rodriguez or a screen player, that would be absolutely fantastic. So, let's open up our first one. Are we going to get a flare, a board, whatever you want to call it? We get the miss now because it's Halloween packs. We don't get a board, unfortunately, in the first one. Can it still be anyone of value? It's going to be a German centre mid. It's going to be Bastian Schweinsteiger. That is not great. He's 81 rated. Is there going to be anything all at all? Of note in this pack, anything at all? Oh, we've got Vern Bloom. It's yeah, it's it's a pretty poor pack that is. We'll uh, we'll save these guys, of course, if there's anything um, that they're usable in in the marquee matchups. But it's got to be said, the first pack is pretty poor. We get Batalia as a duplicate. We'll send him to the transfer list. Let's just store that to the club and see if we can get anything better in this next one. So. Just a board player. I always say with these packs, one board, I'd be reasonably happy. We do get a board player. That's absolutely fantastic. And it's an inform. Come on. What's it going to be? I don't know who this is. Is it Al Sommer? It's going to be Al Sommer. An inform. I am very happy with that. 82 rated. He's going to be discard, I imagine, just because he's uh, not in the most desirable league. But still a pretty cool card. I thought it could have been a scream card for a second there. But um, Al Sommer, I will take that. 82 rated. There could still be something decent in here as well. Is there going to be? We get our summer, we get Jonas, that's another board, we get, tra we get Trap, excuse me. So, um, that's not a bad pack, you know, we get a board in there and an inform, so two boards technically. Uh, nothing else of note, I don't think our summer will go for much at all. Let's have a quick check, I imagine he's very much a discard player, but I will take that. Yeah, if he's bid there of 10k, he's pretty much discard, but you know what, I do not mind that one bit. I might even use him as a super sub to begin with, we'll have to wait and see, but, um, not going to complain to that. Do we get any squad fitnesses in here as well? That's the other thing I like to look out for. And we do get a sentiment to card as well. That one is not a bad pack whatsoever. In form, I will take it. We've got one board again. Not bad whatsoever. And that is going to how we're going to be ending off this week's installment of the Rotation Road to Glory, lads. So if you did enjoy it, as I always say, leave a big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you've been new to the channel for this one. And I'll catch you all in tomorrow's video. Need you out.